Happy Face Palm Friday, everybody. Oh, doesn't that feel so good? Welcome back to another episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet? I'm your host, Rob. I will be guiding you through the shitstorm that is the internet this day for you. And uh, it comes at a great personal cost to me and my sanity. So you better damn well appreciate it, you little shit. But first, a sponsor. Yes, someone reached out and helped me. And I think you might be a little bit familiar with them. So let's do that real quick. Kind of real quick. Let's just do it. This episode is sponsored by those super sexy people over at Dollar Shave Club. That's right, it's them again, popping over to my channel to help bring you all more of my videos. And this time, it's why would you put that on the internet? Oh baby, my giblets are tingling. Now you may know the Dollar Shave Club for shaving. I'm not sure why, but they have ass loads of other incredible things to help you transform from a dirty, stinky, ungroomed shit freak to a clean, sexy, glorious shit freak. Now, I don't know about you, but I had no clue they had all this stuff. Like, I knew about the razors, body wash, and the sassy little ass wipes, but I had no idea they had toothpaste and hair styling products galore and all this different stuff. Oh my God. Oh, I'm getting turned on. <laughs> no, no, that's not good for anybody. I mean, look at all the things they've got. It's incredible. All their products are best in class. You could say their ass wipes are best in ass, am I right? <laughs> uh, sorry. And one of the best parts about this is that Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their daily essential starter set to new members all for only $5. Check it out. The starter set includes three trial size versions of their most popular products to help you stay so fresh and so clean clean, along with a sleek, promiscuous, and well-weighted executive razor with a full cassette of cartridges. That shit costs like $800 in the store, and you have to go out in public to get them. Fuck that, just use Dollar Shave Club and get it all delivered right to your door every month. After your first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. How do they even make money? I don't know. <laughs> Goodness. But you shouldn't ask questions you don't want the answers to. <laughs> Looking great and smelling great will make you feel great and are some of the most important things in the entire world. Whether it's for a date, a job interview, a ritual sacrifice, heading to the store, or even just for lounging around the house, Dollar Shave Club has got you covered from cheek to cheek. And yes, that's another ass reference. <laughs> but for real. <laughs> Get it? But but for real. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. Anyway, this $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash Rob Dyke, and it's linked right in the description below for you. It doesn't get much better than that. And while Dollar Shave Club helps make men look, feel, and smell great, you ladies out there will love them too. Their razors come with six blades. Six so you can shave away at your body parts from pits to privates with confidence that you're not gonna slice off anything or be left with some nasty rash that your significant other thinks is something that it's not. <laughs> Trust me, sweetie, you don't wanna go there. But even if you're a person who embraces your body, hair, or you're entering a Sasquatch contest in a few months, Dollar Shave Club still provides you with so many more products that are all a part of daily living for just about everyone. Except for a lot of meth heads, oddly, and I just, I don't, I don't know what about meth makes you not do all those, th I, I'm not sure. So seriously, join me in the Dollar Shave Club, a club I love being a part of because they're so easily a part of my everyday life. And upgrade your bathroom today for only $5 to start. Just go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Rob Dyke, linked below, and get started now. Because when you invest in yourself, other people will invest in you. And I don't mean prostitution. Unless it's legal in your area, then that's all you. And uh, you could call me if you're a woman and you're up for that. If that's what you're, yeah, that's fine. Just call me. So thanks for listening. And now, let's start the madness. This sounds kind of familiar to me. I'm not sure if it sounds familiar to you, but it sounds familiar to me. I denied getting my nine-year-old daughter the flu shot. We did it once we both were sick that year more than most. This year, I opted out. The doctors are 
pushing me hard and saying your daughter could die <laughs> because she has asthma. She's not a sever asthmatic, but I get it. But we are just going to wash our hands more and make sure we are keeping clean. These vaccines made a young girl paralyzed. Another one got pregnant. Shake my head. Hashtag just, then a space. So therefore, eliminating the hashtag. Say no to vaccines. Who is, who, who is this? Oh, that's right. I think this is probably Kat Von D. That's, that's so Kat Von D. Oh my God. So Kat Von D-esque. <laughs> really it is. What the fuck's wrong with you? Now I think the original post was a troll, but a good troll can usually can usually get a few few fish, you know what I'm saying? So this person tweets out American middle schools caught forcing students to do Muslim prayers five times a day. Time to revoke funding, retweet. And it's clearly photos of children during like a tornado drill or some other kind of emergency situation. And uh, someone, of course, comments, this is what decades of rejecting Jesus Christ has done to this nation. The children are worshiping Satan. Yes, I completely agree with this. I concur. I concur. Because with the lack of Jesus Christ in the schools, there are way more tornadoes. I mean, like the second the school's just like, no more Jesus in this school. And then just death everywhere. And you're just fucked. Tornadoes, earthquakes, tornado quakes, quake nados, earth nados. What? I don't know. I'm not giving anyone an idea for a fucking movie at this point. Sharknado, God, man, I don't, sorry, Chef. Mm. Have you had anything to drink today? Good morning, beauties, they post with a heart. I would like to create a thread talking about drinking you moon blood. Who has done it? And what benefits have you seen? And someone responds with, Thank you for tagging me, love, heart. I drink my moon blood on the third day, usually. Moon blood. Why does that sound like a Khajiit's period? I just, that sounds like what they would call, I don't, I don't know. It makes me quite high and feel the energies of other presences and ancestors easily. That's called insanity. You have mental problems. I, it helps me to deepen in ceremony for self, but also to help shift the codes for my ancestral line. Shift the code. Your ancestral, what, what, you can't shift anything from your ancestral line. What it is is what it is. It just happened. Like, I just flipped you off right there. I can't go back and shift the, the codes of that. You got flipped off. Fuck you. I said it with my finger and there's no changing it. But they go on. I do find a greater sense of love from the moon blood in embracing all that I am and all the of creation. I feel liberated by drinking the red goddess. I feel moon blood is an elixir of one's primordial truth carrying the destiny codes. What in the fuck is this chick? I mean, moon blood. She's on moon blood. Moon blood. She's a Khajiit. She's on moon blood. That's what she's on. I mean, drinking the red goddess, an elixir of primordial. That's Khajiit written all over it. That should be fucking picking my pocket, stealing all my fucking shit. What a bitch. Now, I'm not one usually for rape, but um, actually, I'm never for it, but that's, I can't speak for everyone. I'm usually not about some rape, but if I catch a cutie wearing this sometime this Halloween season, I am not responsible for my actions. I kind of can feel him on this. Not, not in terms of the rape. No, you sick fuck. You should be shot right now just for saying that. You should be killed. Burned alive. That that would work too. Shot or burned alive. Burned alive would be preferable. However, however, 
Harley Quinn is just so overplayed and unoriginal at this point. I'm not responsible for the shit I might say to the person. I might be like, wow, you really chose something out of the box this year, huh? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. I might say something like that. Probably not, though, especially if she's a cutie. You just do your thing. You just do your thing. Now, this guy's looking for a gang plate. Can anyone help him? Because he's got the wrong one, clearly. There's no way to fix it. There's no way to fix this. Does anyone know where I can find a three gang plate with the plug on the right side, not the left? Let's take a look at that image for me. Now, this is kind of like a puzzle. A little bit of a puzzle here. How do we... Does, I mean, is that really the wrong one? Or can we maybe solve it somehow? Just solve it? I don't know. No idea. Fucking moron. <laughs> Game Boys were like a huge thing for me growing up. They were for a lot of people. You know, I, I was using the ones where you had to use the street lights at night when you're driving and, you know, all of a sudden you play for two seconds and then you stop. Wait for the next street light, play for two seconds, you know. That was that was my video game experience when I was growing up. And uh, it's, it's the same for a lot of you out there. And we're the true OGs. We're the true OGs. This is not a Game Boy. So they put up this white Nintendo Game Boy Advance for $45. Somehow it doesn't look the way I remember those to look. It looks slightly different. Like this Game Boy can clearly probably tell you the current temperature of your home and probably adjust it for you as well. That's really, really neat. What a neat little device. I never knew they could do that. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, I guess. I guess I'm, I guess I'm fucking stupid, huh? <laughs> Fuck. Again, with the, the, the rape. Uh, question just a question about rape just rape yeah okay if a guy tries to rape someone but he has a micro penis was it rape hmm hmm that is a really really stupid fucking question it's either attempted rape or it's rape no matter the size of your dick but i'm sure this was you asking for a friend right for a friend you know just wondering you know, she says I raped her or tried to, but my dick is a micro dick. I got micro penis. I wouldn't have gotten in. Even if it's hot, it won't fucking go in. <laughs> How can I rape someone like that? <laughs> Give me a break. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Another person I'd like to just pour gasoline all over. Just... <laughs> I'm a 13-year-old girl doing it with a 19-year-old one, and I got pregnant, and when I told him, he then confessed to me he was doing it with another girl. The problem is, we don't know if the child is half his or hers, because her eggs would still be in his penis. It's a shame that the, uh, this, the uh, educational system has failed you so horribly, because that is not how that works at all. Your ovaries are what get stuck in his penis. That's what. That's how it works. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Grow up now. Oh God. Goodness gracious. Kids these days. Kids these days. <laughs> Kids these days. Now I included this solely because it's going to piss off a lot of social justice warriors. And just in case some of them are watching my videos right now, which is there is a chance. I don't know why. This is just gonna drive you fucking crazy. And I kind of like it. So it's a sewing machine on Amazon, and one of the photos is 2018 Women's Choice Award. Nine out of ten customer recommended sewing machine. A Women's Choice Award on a sewing machine because that's a woman's job sewing and cooking and cleaning and the sex those are women's main jobs i hope you're i hope you're burning up inside i really do i really hope for it if that didn't get rid of you i don't i don't know what will i guess i'll just have to keep trying you know if you love animals you'd call them nicer things just not judging, but seriously. 
Okay, everyone, I love my animals, and I'm tired of seeing people say that they want to breed their bitch. Like, wow. If you truly loved your dogs or just animals, please don't call them that. I would rather see people call them my girl or my angel or something like that. I'm an animal lover completely, and it makes me upset just seeing them be called that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you breastfeed your children? Were you ever breastfed? Then you're disgusting, a disgusting fuck. I think it's pretty gross people breastfeed. It's not milk, it's body fluids. Might as well feed your little one your pee. We have bottles and formula. That's meant to feed your baby. That's what cavemen were using. They were using formula. They weren't ever doing it from the tit. Are you, what, how gross are you people? Stop giving your body fluid a classy name by calling it milk. Cause milk is the classiest fucking name. When I have a kid one day, which might happen, who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows if I might accidentally have one? And and if unless I call it accident number one, uh, I'm calling it milk. Cause that's a, that's a damn classy name. It's not milk. Milk comes from cows. It's almost like saying almonds make milk. Ugh, idiots everywhere. Okay, I'm actually kind of on board for the last part there. Uh, the al almonds making milk is, that is pretty ridiculous because they don't at all. It's like 1% if that uh, almond anything. And then the rest is just chemicals and shit. So um, I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah, that's almond milk. So that's not milk. It's not milk at all. Just picture almonds having tits and shit. That, 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 that doesn't work. And even if they did, that wouldn't be, that would just be body fluids. That'd be an almond's pee or whatever coming out of their little almond tits. We're going way too deep into this one. Holy shit. And that's it for this episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet. Be sure to check the description below. Join Dollar Shave Club. Joining them helps me out. Helps me keep producing more content. <laughs> Isn't that great? And I'll see you next Face Palm Friday. Or, I don't know, whenever fucking day I do this. With another episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet. And this here's the end screen. You can subscribe if you want. YouTube will probably unsubscribe you from me or they won't even let you click the fucking button to begin with. Or check out another video. That would help. That would help. Run a playlist. Have fun. Have fun. See you later. Fuck.